Hey y'all. So me and my husband were in here playing with our new beast here. And it's a lot to get used to. I ain't gonna lie. But these are some of the stitches that we've done on it. And look at that beautiful work right there, right? And the bobbin, y'all. We've been trying the back stitch function and everything. Um, we came to the realization that <laughs> I need to get used to the, we need to get used to the fabric, the needle that we choose, the needles that we choose to correspond with the fabric and the thread, the weight fab, the weight of the thread because thicker fabric requires thicker needles and thicker thread. And with this one, it was it really good, but you know, in certain thicker parts, it was like trying to you know work harder. Um, so we were hearing little clunks and stuff with the machine, but that was, you know, user error. And with this one, it's lighter. I'm trying to show you guys because it's trying to focus. But it's got a shimmer to it, so it's hard to see. But the the stitching is perfect, you know. But like I said, you know, with the material that we use, it just depends. You know, and so that's why I had to get used to. I'm like, oh, I'm just used to using this size needle for, you know, most of my vinyl and everything doesn't work with this machine. You have to do either, you know, you have to choose your materials wisely as well as your needle and thread wisely with the fabric that you use. So this is leather. I don't know what kind of leather they used, but with this, we were hearing a lot of noises and everything because this is thick material. So I was trying to use a size 18 needle and tech 90 thread i know you guys this is foreign language to you but basically my thread was too small my needle was too small or that's the realization i'm i think i'm coming to because it was different with other stuff so um i just need to invest in the new needles and thread for this one but it still looks really good guys this is this right here the rainbow pastel is the thread that I had and we were using the white one was the one that they had in the bobbin and that's the one that I need to get for this because it's so thick but it's okay you know live and learn in the back guys these these stitches are just the bees knees I'm just like look at how beautiful that is you know so yes <laughs> things are happening we're getting used to this beast and um I got you guys facing it because you know I'll do a couple stitches on here if it jams up just because I'm on video don't laugh at me because it was doing just fine okay so um let's see it's probably like a thicker part so yeah I'm sorry the light is shining guys right here but I can't see <laughs> and I ain't about to stab my fingers and stuff just so y'all can get in better views so y'all y'all get what you get okay I'm trying to show you guys because I usually don't like put myself on camera doing sewing because I feel nervous but hey it's all a learning process okay learning we're learning here Moving guys. Oh, and I wound my bobbin for the first time today. I was like, oh, look at me, right? Now getting the bobbin thread up and out and ready to be used when it was in the machine, that was another story. But I wound it just as easily, you know. I had to move, I gotta move one of these clips, guys. But yeah, but I was, y'all, I was nervous. Cause when I first used this machine, <laughs> I jammed it. <laughs> but that was my bad because I was trying to use different thread. Yeah, I was like, oh, y'all already sent some thread for me. And, hold on. I said, oh, that's just the light reflecting. I was like, y'all already sent some thread for me. I was like, I just want to use it. I didn't have the same text weight thread, so I just used my other thread. It, it wasn't working. It was, it was a fail. I was just trying to be lazy. But that was my fault. But, yeah, so, like, it shows really really good guys it's just like I said the thicker parts it it has a little bit of issue if I'm not using the right needle or right thread um I did have to turn my speed down a little bit because this beast is fast 
I was like, hold on, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I have not adjusted the needle positioning yet because I just want to, I don't, I want to get familiarized myself with the speed and stuff first before I'm like, okay, stop the needle here, stop the needle there, you know. But that's an option. That'll make sewing easier for me. But yeah, so let me flip this out so I can show you guys the awesomeness. I'm sorry guys, I got all this stuff on my table because I, when I get the day I got it, it, it was crazy. But, um, let me see. Okay. Trying to see which one I did. So, this is the one that I just, okay, this is the one that I just stitched the top, the top, uh, the top line. And look at that guys. Isn't that so pretty? But yeah, I just wanted to come. I'm sorry, it's kind of blurry. Let me turn this light off real quick. Okay, there we go. So I just wanted to come on here and show you guys a quick video of us learning. I don't know when my husband left. He didn't know I was doing a video. And I just decided, I was like, mm, should I do a video? Uh, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah. And this, when I say this final is a thick beast. It is thick. <laughs> okay. So, and this machine was like, man, although it's kind of thick, you know, you ain't use the right material on me. I still got you. I said, all right, thank you. <laughs> I was like, I need you to, to have me. Okay, I'm having, I'm struggling. And the machine was like, man, we're going to power through this together. Now, you need to give me a new needle and some new thread in the future. But right now, I got you. I said, okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. So, that's it for the video today. Um... And maybe in the future, I'll have some more videos of us doing awesome stuff with the machine. But I just wanted to show you guys this because it's awesome. My husband adjusted the foot pedal because I was like, babe, I can't. My knee is all the way in my chest. <laughs> I need to put it down a little bit. But we love it. We already love it. You know, we in the we got we're ordering some strap leather packs. You know, to try out different leather. Um, may order some different strap vinyl packs to try out different vinyls with it just to see what kind of needles and stuff we might need. It's a learning process, basically. But it's a process that we're enjoying and we're doing this so we can offer you guys another option of more uh, different style bags. And my husband, 5-3 Customs, he does, um different things and we're looking at he's do, looking at using this machine for the different things for his business as well so yeah stay tuned guys the future is bright all right bye